Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft 365 Show and Tell here on the Microsoft 365 Developer Channel. My name is Bob German and I'm very excited and honored today to introduce a wonderful ISV partner, My Serious Game, whose Edmill application won the award for Best Education App in the Teams App Development Challenge earlier this year. In this video, you'll get to meet the people who created the app and see it in action, and we'll discuss their experiences and lessons learned in the process. So to start, let me introduce My Serious Game product manager, Sophie Manigou. Hi, Sophie. Hello, Bob. Nice to, nice to see you here today. Yeah, you too. And I see you've brought some of your teammates. Absolutely, I did. Uh, so working with me uh, on the Edmil product for uh, more than two years now, uh, we have our two developers, uh, the backend developer. Yes, so hi, I'm Olivier Quest. So I'm a web developer on mostly backend, yes, for my series game. Yeah, and I am Gabrielle, a uh, developer for Headmill 2 and mostly frontend. Oh, that's great. Great to meet you both. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sophie, um, could you tell us just a little bit about your company and the application? Sure. So my serious game is a French company, a French based company who's been working on uh, creating uh, our online solution to train uh, learners inside companies. So we are a B2B company historically. Um, and a few years back, our clients came to us to say, OK, you're uh, one of the best actors in France to create online training solution. Uh, how about you give us the possibility to create some training ourselves? And this is where uh, Edmil was originated. Uh, so to give uh, some users the possibility to create very high quality uh, online training content uh, in a very short time. So it's a good complement to what Masters game can otherwise offer. Well, that's really cool. Um, can you perhaps give us a peek at the app? I'd love to see how it works. I'm not sure, Bob. Are you sure? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. Of course. We how are would very... I not want to see this app? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are very proud to share it with you today. Um, so the app was built uh, on three big uh, functions. Um, so the, the first function is uh, the function to create online training content. The other big function is to, uh, allows you as a user to share your content, share it with the user. And the third big part is uh, based on the follow up, follow up with statistics with very detailed results. So you can see you have an all in one tool to create, share and follow up on your online training content. Uh, by the way, Edmil, the name Edmil comes from Ed as education and Neil it's like the meal of uh, the transformation, you know, a meal like transform raw material into very high added value material. Mm -hmm. And here, the raw material that we start with is uh, the creator's knowledge. And what we end up with is with a very high value is uh, the uh, online training content. Our, uh, our goal is to allow almost anyone to create uh, some high quality uh, training content. Mm -hmm. Not only like you are a specialist of online training content creation, but also if you're a specialist of your field, like you're a salesperson, you're an accountant, um, you're an IT person, and you want to share, or you are asked to share your uh, your know knowledge, your know-how with your colleagues, with your peers, well, you can come to Edmil, and we're going to take you step by step to create some very high quality content in uh, a very short time. Um, so here, when you start creating, you can select show me the way, which will uh, take you the long way and ask you a lot of questions to make sure that you know where you're going to and where you want to take your learners to. Mm -hmm. So you can see these are very classic concepts when it comes to uh, pedagogy or andragogy, as we say. Mm -hmm. uh, but we make them simpler so that anyone can take them and make uh, relevant decisions when it comes to the content. So here, your main goal could be to uh, that your learner are able to analyze um, what is at stake uh, with uh, Teams app creation. 
just an example on top of my head. And then you have you, you can you have to uh, select some uh, you know uh, goals, some uh, pedagogical goals for your learners to reach to reach the main goal. That makes sense. All right, I'm just going quickly. Then we help you structure your course. So we have some good, good practices, you know, because we work with AFNOR, with the uh, certification company that said, okay, here is what, what you have to do, what you have to take your users through uh, so that they, they can create very high uh, level content quality. Um, you have the satisfaction survey and you also, you can use the cold evaluation system uh, to just share your uh, learning course with your learners and then automatically 15, 30 and 60 days and, and even 90 days uh, after they first uh, successfully went through the course, they will receive automatically cold evaluations. So we try to make, as you may have understood by now, we try to make the create, creator's experience as smooth and enjoyable uh, as the learner's experience will be. Okay, right. makes sense. And this was a software as a service that was already available before you uh, brought it into Teams, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. So this is um, uh, to give you some of perspective and see, show you how uh, things are done in the background. And then we'll see how learners can enjoy this experience in Teams. Cool. So once, once as a, still as a creator, once you have done all this, you can go to your library and I'm going to show you like a finished uh, course with only uh, with a few activities here. All right. Uh, so you can this is what you can see. All right. On the administrator side, then you have a few steps to complete. As I told you at the beginning, you have to create learners. You have to create a group. A pop, you put everything together and then you create you, you share your content. And then your learners, what can they do? Well, they can access a meal in a website, but also in Teams. So the good practice, but you don't absolutely have to do that, uh, you can create like a, a dedicated space for this a training topic. And mm -hmm. then you ask your student to add the Edmeal app here. So you can, mm -hmm. my computer already knows Edmeal, obviously. You mm -hmm. add it. As you know, you pin it, so you don't lose it afterwards. Right. And you come to your learner space and you have access to uh, one or several uh, learning courses that your creator, your administrator have created and selected for you. And then you enter your training program directly in Enmil and you go through uh, your, uh, your online training program. Nice. There you are. So you can find activities that we we saw on the administrator side, and you have access to, of course, the core of the of Edmil, which is the learning content, but also everything around. So the training programs, you can have an overview of everything that you have been doing and that you're going to be learning. You have access to your results. Here you have access to any documents that your administrator may have uh, put for you um, attached to your learning course and, and your profile. So pretty much everything you need as a learner, he's available here. You can go back in the chat that we saw here and you can ask any questions you have you know, to uh, your supervisor, your manager, um, or your colleagues that can help you. So uh, we really like this peer-to-peer -peer approach and everything is the same too. That's great. So are your customers more schools or universities or uh, industry or, or all of them? Uh, mostly industries, mm -hmm. uh, big companies that have a lot of, uh, you know, training to do with their employees. Mm -hmm. And some, um, uh, some training companies as well that have their own expertise and they want to share the expertise with clients. Yeah, that's great. It makes a lot of sense. So how did you get the idea to build this and how have your customers reacted? Yeah, so I got the, the mic now. <laughs> yeah, please, Gabrielle. <laughs> so we decided to create this, this team app to answer a big problematic for our clients. So I have in mind a client that are the hard time convincing learners to learn online. And the 
principal reason was the multiplication of passwords and web URL. So it was mm. really complicated for her to explain each learner how to use Emil. So when we launched the Teams app, she was really impressed by the fact that she can now explain how Emil works directly in a team meeting. Uh, and she saved a lot of time and had amazing engagement rate. Um, so to conclude, I, I would say that now it's simpler, faster, and more intuitive, even for for beginners, like for all learners. That's cool. So, so really, the single sign-on capability was one of the big, one of the big drivers for this. Of course. That's really good. Um, so, I know you had an existing application on a technical side. Um, how how difficult was it, and what process did you follow to make this work in Teams? So yeah, as you saw, so we already have a, a web application that is working on for good. So, but. The, so this app is made of two parts, so the, the learner part and the, the more trader admin part. And we only wanted to to put the, the learner part in Teams, uh, for now at least. We quickly learned that it was, that the Teams app is using the same te technology and code as a website, so it's pretty much the same thing. So it was really easy to, to adapt our existing code to put it in a Teams without rewriting everything. So it was a good surprise and yeah, easy to easy to do. That's great. What was your biggest learning? What did you uh, what did you take away? <laughs> yeah, I guess nothing. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, we learned that developing our first team app told us that done is better than perfect and mm. also that we need to think scalable and start small. Like Olivia said, we wanted at first developing all the the entire app in Teams, but we start for now we are just the the runner side. Uh, and as I said, Creating a team app is pretty straightforward and really well documented. So, I think. That's good to know. About how long did it take? Uh, how long? I guess there are kind of two parts. Uh, the first one was developing, so mm -hmm. maybe one or two months. The second part was quite longer because it was, um, I don't know, validation. Validation, yeah. Validation. Yeah, right. This one was longer. That's great. So, any hints or ideas on what uh, what you're going to do next with your uh, with your Teams app? Yes, of course. Uh, concerning the, the future, so we'd like to to use what more about what is available in Teams because for now uh, we pretty much only display what's already available on the, the web application. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to add more interaction interaction between the, the learners on Teams, like pushing notification or sending an adaptive card with some statistics or using the, the bots to, to uh, come on to get help. So, I mean, there is a lot of features that we can use there in Teams. So, yeah, complete. That sounds really good. I, I look forward to seeing all of that. Any final thoughts? <laughs> So, yeah, actually, we we are. Um, this experience gave us the the idea to use uh, micro, uh, Microsoft Teams uh, apps and functionalities for other projects too. Oh, that's really good. That's great to hear. Well, I can't wait to see the next thing that that you all come up with. Thanks so much, uh, Sophie, Olivier, Gabrielle. I've really learned a lot here, and I can see why Ed Mill took the prize for uh, best education app this year. So thanks to you, and thanks also to everyone watching. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button, and uh, please hit the subscribe button as well so that you'll be notified of uh, future videos in the M365 Developer channel. Thanks again. Thank you very much, Bob. Bye. Bye. Bye.